Hello, Stats class. This is a question from our 5.3 homework set. So we're doing a binomial distribution here. And I'm going to show you the shortcuts that we have on our calculator, on Excel, and on uh, StatCrunch that can help you with these types of probabilities. So let's look at first the calculator. So I'm going to open up the distribution menu, D-I-S-T-R, so that's second bars. And then I'm just going to scroll until I see binom PDF. All right, so make sure it's PDF for this one, not CDF. So you use PDF for these probabilities where it's equal to, and then you use CDF for the less than or greater than probabilities, or inequalities, basically. All right, so let's show you how this works. So binom and PDF, the nice thing about this question is it uses these three numbers in there, but it's NPX. So N comes first, then P, then X. So you type in the N, 16, comma, type in the P, which is 0.35, comma, and then you type in the X, which in this case is 3. And there's your binomial probability of exactly equal to 3. So 0.088 to four des three decimal places, and 0.89. All right, now we're going to do it with uh, Excel and also with StatCrunch. So next with StatCrunch, I just open up StatCrunch if it's available in the question, which should be for these homework questions and your um, quizzes. So, and then we're going to go to Stat Calculators Binomial. And then just down here, the same thing. You're going to put in NP, then X down here. So N was 16. Uh, P was 0.35, yes, 0.35, and this time X was not less than or equal to, but equal to 3, uh, and then you just click Compute, and there's that same one, 0 0.0887, right, to 3 places, 0 0.089, all right, so that's the stack crunch method, and then with um, Excel, just go into any blank cell and just type in equals and start typing in binomial. All right, and then um, this is the one we want, binom distribution. Double click that. And then it wants the number S, number of successes, so that would be three. So this one asks for X first. All right, the number of trials is 16. All right, and then the probability of success, which is 0.35. And then lastly, it wants to know, are we adding it up? Is it 0, 1, 2, and 3, or just 3? So 1 means it is cumulative, 0 means it's not cumulative. And then we hit enter. So there again is the number. So there's the three main ways to do this type of question without having to do the actual formula. Okay, If you do the actual formula, just follow along with the viewing example. Do note that when you are doing this uh, on your homework, you do need an extra set of parentheses. By that I mean read this like there were an extra set of parentheses right here. What a lot of people are doing is they're getting something way bigger. And, and the bad thing is a lot of you guys are getting something even bigger than one. And you're not realizing that that can't be a probability. All right, probabilities have to be between zero and one. And if you don't put this parentheses down here, what? What happens is um, your calculator is going to multiply by x factorial, and if x, you know, if the number of successes is really big, you know, if we're doing like um, 15 and x is, you know, 15 trials and x is like 12, 12 factorial is a really big number, and if these other things um, don't completely get rid of this 12 factorial, this really huge number, you end up with a probability, quote unquote, bigger than one, and it can't be. And it's because you're not putting these parentheses down there. Okay, without the parentheses, the x factorial is not down in the denominator. It's also being multiplied like all the rest of these things if that parentheses is not there. And that would make this a huge number if this were not down there in the denominator and it were being multiplied out there. Okay, so make sure that you're putting that parentheses out here on the ends if you're doing this by hand using the viewing example. Okay, but it is perfectly fine for you to use uh, Excel, for you to use your calculator or for you to use StatCrunch on a question like this.